I'm in the Reboca booth with uh, Emerson Maggi, and we're going to talk about an iOS app for people with low vision. And uh, this looks like a pretty interesting product to me. Why don't you tell us about it? Yeah, so Roboca was designed for low to moderate vision impairments. We built a device on iOS right now, so every technology that you need without the physical product, you can get it on your iPhone right in your pocket. So it's not actually a device, it's a, or was it originally a device, and now it's an iOS device? Nope, just an app. Not, just an app. Okay, great. So uh, she's going to demonstrate it to us, and we have a lot of blind listeners, as you might imagine, and people who are just listening on podcasts. So describe every little bit of what it is you're doing. Yeah, so there's a lot of features. The main feature is Zoom. You can pause your images, save those images. Uh, the Zoom is a really great feature because it can zoom in better than the iPhone camera can. Uh, okay, let's, let's do this. Turn around this way. We'll she's go. got We've got our backs to the camera now. So she has the app up, and she's uh, going to start zooming in. Yes, and there's also uh, video stabilization, so even if you have a little bit of a shaky hand, the camera will stay zoomed in for you, and you'll be able to hold your video very uh, very still. Okay, so I'm going to bring up the plain magnifier on my phone at the same time, and I'm going to try to replicate what she's doing and hold it as still as she is. So where are you? Okay, we're on the word people, and I'm trying to zoom in here. Oh, okay, I am, I am all over the map. She is dead steady. And I'm at the limit of the zoom, and sh she's now all the way into the O. Oh, it's it's yeah. definitely digital pixelization, but it still looks really good. Yes, and then you can also adjust the contrast. There's a lot of invert features. Black on yellow, yellow on black, yellow on blue. Now I can do a couple of things here. Uh, some of that, but it's not as easy to get to as yes. what, what you're doing there. And then we can also pause the images. You can move around. You can zoom in on the images that you did pause as well. So uh, pausing doesn't save a bunch of images into your photos library, right? Yep, not automatically. You can just click the upload button and it'll download right to your camera roll so you don't have millions of photos every time that you pause and unpause. Okay, and then uh, what else do we get down on the left-hand side? Okay, so you were showing, oh, not just the filters, but you've also got contrast. Yep, contrast. You can adjust brightness. You can also uh, do custom filters. You can change any color combo that you need to see better. She's got some really hideous combos going here. That's <laughs> yeah. great with reds and greens and stuff. Any color you need. And then what's the folder icon in the bottom right do for us? Uh, it is saving your preset. So if you have a specific color uh, and version that you like, you can save it to your presets. You can edit them. You can name it. So we'll do preset one. You can just change that. Okay. Yep, and then this is our preset one that I keep at all times. We come back to. So people without vision loss may not know, uh, I knew from my mom losing uh, her vision that there were certain color combinations she could see. She could see yellow on blue or blue on yellow. I forget which it was. And this is exactly what that's designed to give you, right? Exactly. Customization is key. All right. So what do you charge for Riboka? Uh, there's a Roka free. It's free to download on the iOS store. Uh, we also have a pro version that gets you all those extra color combos. So you get uh, the generic invert color for free and then you can download to get more complex uh, inversions. And what do you charge for pro? Pro is, I want to say $3.99 a month. Okay. All right. Very good. And the company is Reboka, R-E-B-O-K-E-H. Would we find that at Reboka.com? Yes, you can. That's a terrific name. I love it. Thank you.